And so I'm uh, just very excited with that and, and would like to, on that note, turn it over to the Secretary of the Department of Ag and uh, Consumer Protection, Randy Romanski. Thank you, Secretary Thompson. Thanks, everybody. Thanks to the Everson family for uh, hosting us today. Uh, very kind. Thanks for arranging the weather. Um, uh, it's fitting that I that I follow Secretary Thompson. We're here to celebrate all of the investments that Governor Eber has referenced, uh, and these are also uh, investments that he's been making since he became governor. Uh, the the transportation investments that Secretary Thompson mentioned are are key. Uh, transportation and agriculture kind of go hand in hand, the hand in glove, as it were, uh, because in Wisconsin there's a whole lot of commerce that starts on a local road, uh, and often that commerce is uh, is a farm. Uh, and to get that, that product, uh, commodity from farm to table, uh, you need to have good transportation infrastructure. And the governor's uh, been committed to that since he started. That is an investment in Wisconsin agriculture as well. And what kind of investment is that? Uh, agriculture is a $104.8 billion industry in the state of Wisconsin. Uh, that's an economic driver throughout the state. So the investments that Secretary Thompson was talking about for these local roads and bridges, it's important that we make those all over the state. And with the additional funding that the governor's provided, uh, we're able to do that. Uh, also, uh, with agriculture, it's, it's an industry that's part of our past, present, and future. Right now in Wisconsin, about one in nine people working in our state is working in a job related to agriculture. Think about that, that's phenomenal. Um, and it takes investment to keep that foundation strong. Uh, and Governor Evers has consistently prioritized investments, not just in agriculture, but in, across all those other things that he referenced. Uh, it's, uh, it's really important that he has, uh, he's focused on agriculture as a priority. Uh, that's led to investments in dairy processing facilities, uh, continuing programs like the nitrogen optimization uh, pilot program, and increased meat processing grants, just to name a few. He's also uh, continued investments in several items that he has prioritized since he took office his very first day. Ongoing funding for programs to increase exports of Wisconsin agricultural products, moving Wisconsin's finest products all around the world. Uh, funds to support the popular and effective producer-led watershed grant program and counter ca county conservation staff, the boots on the ground that work with farmers regularly to protect their soil and water health. Finally, in a year that the governor has declared the year of mental health, he's once again provided funding to support DAC Caps Farm Center and its farmer wellness program, a program that was established to provide 24-7 uh, contact information, a 24-7 helpline, and other programs to help farmers address mental wellness. Now, I know you know this, uh, agriculture is not a nine to five job. And before Governor Evers took office, we didn't have a 24-7 hotline at DACCAP to help uh, farmers if they had challenges, whenever they had challenges. So that's an important investment in uh, the farmers that support our, our, our agriculture industry. So these are, these are parts of the foundation of Wisconsin agriculture. So I, I wanted to thank you, Governor Evers, for your leadership on investing in education uh, and resources for the agriculture industry.